Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mama Dali and welcome to C Sharp tutorial number one. So basically you need Visual Studio that would be you can get that in uh, on Google and just go to Microsoft and download. I'm going to be using C Sharp 2010 Express version because it is very light and it's really fast. Okay, so you can use the 2015th or the new coming 2016th. It's up to you. I don't mind. It's all the same. Okay, so uh, let's learn a little bit about what is this. Basically, we have in here. We uh, from here we can create our project or open a new one. You can create a project from here, or you can go to file and create a new project. Of course, I'm gonna go in here and. In C sharp, you may have a lot of templates and stuff in here, but I have only C sharp. Okay, so in C sharp section, you go and select the console application. Okay, so this is the first thing you have to do. And now name your project. I'm gonna say Hello World Teacher One. Okay, okay, we have a lot of things in here. What the hell are these? let's learn about them a little bit okay first thing first we're gonna get rid of these things in here we don't need them okay okay you can get rid of this uh, this namespace and it won't affect the program okay so we are at this well you even you can even get rid of this and it won't affect your program so we are at really 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 the minimized level of our program so this is real program for you like a beginner okay so what is this basically the using system means i'm using a something called system a system is a namespace so what is system let's let me show you i'm gonna say console okay console dot right line right Okay, there we have two white line and white. We're gonna use white, and we're gonna say uh, like hello world. And basically, what this will do is print out hello on the console. What is console? Let me show you. This is console. Okay, it just came and disappeared. Well, why it came? Because basically, what it was doing, uh, this the way it works is console says I'll like read this program for you when i'm done i'm gonna close myself so it read this program printed hello world and just it went away so we have to tell it stop uh, we want to see what is happening there are a couple of ways you can say control f5 and you're gonna get this so it says hello world and then to press any key to continue when i press any key it's gonna disappear or you can use console dot read key read line or any just read it's up to you and it is going to work okay now if you come in here as you can see it says hello world uh, because now it is read key basically means press something it's gonna read it's gonna wait for you to click something if you press space or press enter it's not a problem just press anything and it will go away because this instru instruction tells it to wait okay that's all for our program no so you can understand what is using system okay basically what using system means is uh, let's go in here and say go to definition so this is a definition what is it a definition basically a definition namespace or system system namespace is basically a collection of the programs or the collection of things we have for example we have in here right line what does right line stands for let's go in here so writes the current line term uh, terminator to the standard output okay so basically it is a library of our program a library of pre-made programs a library of pre-made things which which we can do so the library of right uh, uh, system contains a program which is right and what it does it writes hello world to the console okay now class class is basically a 
What is class? Class is, let's say, basically a collection of methods. Well, we have this method, so a class is a collection of method. I said that it is basically, so if you know a little bit about it, don't tell me because I know it. It's just for beginners, okay? So it is some a collection of methods. What a method is, this is a method. This is called main method. So this is the access modifier and this is the return type and this is the name of our program so this is the name of our um, method it's main so whenever we run program it's gonna try to fetch the main program let's see how it works i'm gonna say welcome okay it's not a problem and i'm gonna access it it's not gonna give me anything because it says they are looking for main word so this is the entry point so if you don't have main word the word main you won't be able to access your program okay good well now a little bit more well we have seen the console application and basically it looks dirty okay let's clean it up a little bit first of all let's clean this thing files what the hell is this I don't know just get rid of this we need something cleaner so I'm gonna say uh, slash slash means I'm giving a comment comment is basically something that the compiler means this program doesn't do anything with it so if I to type anything in here and put it it's not gonna do anything so if I make this a comment like this I make it a comment no it became a comment basically when the program runs it won't even have a look at it it's gonna say okay it's a comment it's uh, something that the developer write it for uh, making code easy to read so it's gonna say no I don't want uh, I won't be looking at it at all so so we are saying that our comment will be uh, console formatting oops now let's say console dot um, title equals uh, LLT tutorials number one okay now we say console dot background color equals color console color dot we're gonna go for blue color okay what does it mean we'll look at it right now console dot foreground equals console dot sorry color dot uh, let's say yellow okay now what will happen is as you can see this became um, blue and this is LLG drills but the screen itself didn't come blue or didn't come blue right why let's see we have to clear the screen well basically what happened is the program when it started okay it said that I want to change the background color so but it did not clear it to clear the previous color what do I mean by that let's see okay when I write hello world it this part of the program is clear because another thing has been added to it but the rest of the program remains at as it is so how do we clear it we say console dot clear so basically we are clearing what is present in here and now you see a lot of tutorials part one it's really 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 better than that dirty something okay uh, well that was location okay now in here we have hello world written in yellow and we, our screen is below blue and this looks really really awesome it's better than that blackish whitish thing okay okay so now we are done with this so we're gonna say end of console formatting basically i'm making making my program easier to read we know that we have console.write and we have another one it says console 
dot right line let's say hello world uh, another world again okay, another world let's just make up some stupid things and uh, now I run it it says hello world another world what is the difference between these two okay the difference is diff right line when you do this when this instruction runs another you get uh, so you get transferred to the new line okay let's see okay now when I run this another world will be printed and in the new line this instruction will be printed okay hello world let's see so another world then it said uh, when we print this because the instruction tell it so after printing what you are asked to print create a new line or go to the new line then after it prints hello world it goes to the new line and says what is written um, below it so this is what is written okay okay i think that would be all today thank you guys for watching if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or other make sure to put it in the comment box below and make sure to like subscribe and comment and da -da. see you later